Hi guys, I want to talk more uh, technology detail for my uh, self-towing remote control. Right now I have two products already finished. Uh, on this side it is the long range, this side is waterproof. It's also long range, I mean. <laughs> but uh, so basically the waterproof is for the, for the wakeboarding but it's very potentially used uh, power gliding as well. And this is uh, my first uh, product. It's dedicated for the, for the you know, power gliding because this is a long range and uh, it can support uh, like a seven miles, like a 10 kilometer. Uh, but uh, for this side, I mean, the only thing I did because this is already product on the market. This is a Fly Sky R9 system. So what I did is I just uh, hack the transmitter to accept something smaller. So the, the, the original is is for the R, RC toy. So you're gonna use some something like this to control your drone airplane. You know, for the long range. Uh, what I did, I just hacked the, the transmitter to accept something similar, you know, holding your hand and you think about you tow the tow when you tow yourself for the part riding, you can already hold this in your hand. <laughs> There's no way to hold that. So yeah, that's the only thing I did on this side. Another side, I mean, this is a completely I developed from the sketch, uh, so it's uh, basically uh, on the LoRa network. I mean, the part of the Internet of Things. Um, the big difference is uh, so this use very low energy. You can see the battery right here. Very tiny batteries, uh, and this side, you know, this battery is this battery. You know, the big batteries. So yeah, that's that's a really big difference for the Internet of Things. They use very uh, very little energies, um, and I keep developing this. So you see, this is a this is a standard GoPro mount. Uh, basically, you can mount pretty much everywhere. You, it's cause a GoPro mount is pretty much. Whatever you think you want mountain there, you can find a GoPro mount for that. So that's kind of standard, you know, GoPro standard uh, for the GoPro mount. Um, uh, originally, I was thinking to just mount on the home mate and use uh, control on your uh, handlebar for wakeboard. But you know, a lot of people don't really use uh, the, the home mate <laughs> for the wakeboarding. Uh, you can actually just mount this direct on your uh, handlebar. GoPro has a bar mounting. You can just, uh, you know, uh, directly mount on your uh, uh, handlebar. Just uh, no problem. The only, the only difference is uh, mount here give you better signal and mount here on your handlebar in just uh, less signal. But, but for the wakeboarding, I mean, you probably don't walk that long distance away, so it should be okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and talking about the distance, and so far, I can sure this can go to uh, like a 10,000 feet, about 300 uh, meters. And this can go to uh, 10 kilometers. This long range, ten kilometer, like seven miles or something. Uh, but still, I I think this is a, have very potential to you know to use for the park riding as well. So whenever you are develop something new, you always learn something new, and it's quite interesting. You know, people actually use this board i mean the board inside is just tiny like this side okay uh 
they uh, they say that they made a, like a, a twenty kilometer distance communication to use that tiny board like here. Okay, two boards. Uh, you think about the technology is kind of crazy, right? <laughs> How they did that? I mean. Uh, tiny board and tiny batteries and uh, travel a long distance. I mean, it's not that crazy. I mean, the physics is the physics. So to uh, to use that very low energy to travel a long distance, you got to be a uh, compromise something else, right? So for this, the compromise is a uh, time delay. So. Uh, like right now, I set up this setup has a half second delay, and uh, for this product, I mean, this is a you know RC product. You you cannot really accept half second delay. You know, <laughs> think about when you fly the drone and diving from the high building goes really down and touch the <laughs> touch the surface goes down. Any delay, you're gonna crash, right? This this has only a twenty uh, millisecond delay, you know, twenty millisecond. You probably won't feel it. I mean, some professional drone players they can feel it. <laughs> I cannot really feel <laughs> the twenty second delay. <laughs> so, so basically, this is no delay. I mean, and this is a half second delay. Uh, a half second is like a five hundred uh, milliseconds. So that's 20 millisecond delay. This is a 500 millisecond delay. You can see that's, that's actually the compromise for this in order to use a tiny battery to travel long distance. And, uh, you know, whenever people say that they, they made, they, they use those boards and travel a long distance, they gotta be wait like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> To, to receive the data, I mean, uh, it's it's not really uh, practical for the real world to use. Uh, so that's the really interesting because uh, when 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 I start developing this, I mean, they say they they go twenty uh, kilometer. I think, oh, wow, that's so crazy. I want to you know use that board to for my product for the power gliding, you know. But uh, it's not. <laughs> but for us, I mean, self towing half second delay, you don't you don't really feel that much. I mean, uh, think about you push the bottom and then the wrench stop in the half second. That's that's pretty okay. I mean, probably one second is okay too. I mean, it's. For us, the self towing, I mean, that's definitely okay for the half second delay. Uh, I just want to, you know, give you the idea, I mean, how the technology works. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I definitely, uh, you know, can twist more of the antenna, uh, you know, to make this uh, even longer distance, like I say, that probably can set up like a half sec, uh, like a one second delay, for to use uh, to to use this for the park riding, because uh, for the park riding towing, we my my wrench my line on the wrench is uh, uh it's one kilometer, it's one thousand meters. Uh, if I can make this to travel uh, like a, you know 1000 meters um, if that delay is still uh, acceptable <laughs> so this can be used for the power guiding tow as well it's very possible i just uh, you know need a time to to test on the antenna everything else uh, another thing is uh, about the signal so basically, this is all the digital signals. So the digital signal usually goes to your uh, speed controller. Is this? So this is the speed controller for my uh, 
per motor. Okay, so you can see how the little three wire arm come out. They're, they're basically is all the PWM signal, which is a digital signal. <coughs> Excuse me. So normally they have this uh, PWM signal come in. So basically those are all come out with PWM signal for this controller. But when we build a tow winch, we usually use uh, the E-back controller, usually like this, E-back controller. Because yeah. this has a lot of function already come out like the brake we're talking about and the tension control you know um, that i talked about in another videos already uh, so those controller normally uh, take a analog signal which is uh, just variable of the voltage so voltage from zero to four volt so um that's analog signal and uh, both of my uh, controller um, i have a module to come out with uh, you know digital signal or analog signal uh, yeah most time we use the analog signal for this e back controller um, yeah i probably will will talk about another video about the speed controller why you choose the different speed controller for different things <laughs> yeah maybe another video yeah that's uh today's topic and uh, if you interested in the self towing i mean doesn't matter for the power gliding or wakeboarding and i have a product right for you we'll see you next time